All right, so Professor Liu is going to teach you to do Chapter Two classwork. And this question we are going to do is this: We are going to do uh for a string using a a method from string class, and to do uh to do this question. So what I'm going to do is this right now. So first of all, I need you to click on your Java. Uh, Eclipse. Let's file close all. Okay, so ready. So you are going to call this chapter two, uh, classwork underscore five. It's okay. So file new in Java projects, and I'm going to call that uh chapter two. Okay, and classwork. Underscore five. It's okay. I'm going to do that, and I finish. I'm not going to create module. All right. So right here, I am going to create the source. I'm going to say new and class. New class. Sorry. New and class. And I'm going to call same name. Chapter two and class work underscore five. It's okay. And public static void main. All right, so I have this right now. I have this right now. So gentlemen and ladies, so far okay. I have this right now. Okay. Now I am going to ask you to copy this. Some of them, yeah, copy this. Okay. Control C and copy right here. You see the to do here, and let's do Control V. All right, so I am going to uh, make sure uh, you understand this right now. So now I have a string name, and I put my name. Can you put your uh, first put? Everybody put my name after you understand and change to your name. Is okay. All right. So copy paste, and uh, I the reason I also need a、uh, your library. So I also need you to go to uh open the <coughs> Java API. Just type Java API eight to open it and go to string class. Go to string class. So now I am going to go to string here, and uh let's take a look. The most important is there's a bunch of constructor I'll teach you in the future. Let's. Learn to use the method. So methods are existing function, existing action. Allowed you to do work. Then, then you have to follow the format exactly how you do. For example, if you use char add, you need to give a number, and we return the characters at a specific index. Okay. Then, for example, if you want to use uh, if you Want to use index of? Then give you a a character and tell you the index of, right? So based on that, let's start to do our work and let's start to do our work. Okay? So I am going to do here. So I have a string right here, my name. I have a string Mississippi. Okay. So if I press enter right here, a number one say. Find how many character of your name. How many characters? How many character of your name? Right. So find how many character of your name. So I'm coming back here. I'm coming back my uh here. So uh I will look for a best one to help myself. Uh, help myself. So I continue. It's empty. Doesn't help me. Uh, I find out length. Length. So return the length of the string. I find out this, and then see how do we learn this from our method. Our method say if you want to do the length, you need to use object to do this, and you also need to return an integer. Okay, you also need to return an integer. So that's the way we want you to do it. So I'm going to copy paste here, Control C, and. I am going to have a Microsoft Word here, and to make sure everybody can understand these two. All right. 
So at here, uh, first uh, I'm going to control V here, um, but then uh, I am going to uh, <clears throat> come here to uh, make sure you understand this and later I'll fix this for you. So we know that right now, we know that right now, then we come in back here. So we already told you how many characters need to return integer. So I'm going to say integer num, okay, num character. I'm just going to call that. And equal, I know I need to use a string. I need to deal with the name. I need to deal with name. So string is a class, name is object. So I need to use string or I need to use name. Can anyone tell me? String. No, because string is a class. String is a class, so that's a blueprint. You are not allowed to use string. Now you want to use method. Whenever you want to use methods here, whatever da, whatever da, len da, anything you want to use, we use da notation. It's Da, all right. Then the the thing before that da, you know, must be a object, a string object. So I'm talking about the question here. Find how many character of your names, your name. There are only two objects here. One object, both objects are string objects. One object is called name. The other object is called river. So can anyone tell me which object I need to type right here? Name. That's right. I put name. Good job. Put name, then put da. And it will be allowed you to pull out. So the name object allows you to pull out the entire, entire method right here. And I'm going to scroll it down. I'm going to scroll it down. And I see uh, length. Okay, scroll it down until I see length. If I type first one, they kind of help me uh, easier. So da, all oh, right, right here, da length. Now, I want to ask you right now, uh, this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. All right, my name is seven character, but it will return A. It will return A, all right? So because the space also that, so I'm going to type this out and uh, control space bar. All right, so uh, I'm going to say my name has, and I'm going to put right here, uh, I'm going to put uh, num char, okay, and put space here and character. I'm going to pull like that, okay? So then uh, again, my name is seven character, but it will return eight. So let me run it right now, run as Java application. Uh, I noticed the answer will be eight. So can anyone tell me why the answer is eight and how do I fix that? All right. The space is 10 as well. That's right. So should I just minus one here? Because I have space right here. All right. So that take care of this question. And I run it one more time here. And now I have seven character right now. OK. So move on here. Now, so you learn, you use one method. All right, and you use exactly what the method asks you to do. Is that right? So uh, let me uh, copy this thing down right here. On the word. Die. Sorry. Okay, and later I'll, I'll explain to you. So. Now you use this and you follow that. And now let's continue right here. So number two right here. I want to display first name initial. I want to only one character display first name initial. So my first name initial is S. Last name initial is L. 
Okay, so I coming back to my uh, library. So look for which one can help me. Which one can help me to find out uh, a character return? Uh, first of all, I need a character. I need a character. Is that right? So the result here, only look for char. The rest of them, you can totally ignore them. All right, you can. So that's a way you read. That's the way you become a Java programmer. Because they say here, display the first name initial. Isn't first name initial is a character? All right, so must return a character. So you must return a character. All right, so that's a strong hint right here. You must return a character. So from this is a return data type. From the return data type here, can anyone find out a master? A master can return can return a character. Can return the character based Care on app. that's right. Care app. Good job. Good job. Care app. So I'm going to copy down care app and show you how to do it. It's okay. I'm going to copy care app and ask you how to do it. So that the care app here is return a character. Is that right? And it's going to put the index inside. Is going to put index inside. All right. So how do I do that? How do I do that? All right. So I can do here and char first initial. I can do this. Char first i n i t i a l and equal. Is that right? Now which object I need to do it? Remember name. Good name and da. Now the first one char app is that right char app, and I'm going to put index. So this is a character array. S is in which position right now? Can you tell me? Zero. Zero. All right. So you can do that, or I'm going to show you. If you put this out, ah oh, sorry. If you put like this. And you say my first name initial uh, is then you know what you just going to put this you can do that too all right so if you do this way then you actually save the initialization. So if you put your answer directly, um, directly uh, inside your system out the the string solution, it will return the name that character will return here. So it doesn't save this. So if you feel you don't need it to uh, define that variable, you don't have to. All right, so let's run this right now. I'm going to run as a Java application. So when I run this now, and I get my first name initial is S. All right, so then I'm going to display my last name initial, last name initial, okay? So I need you to help me right now. If I type this out, and uh, control space bar. Now I want to pipe here my last name I N I T I A L initial is and I'm going to plus here. So anyone who can tell me how do I I still do name the char app. Sorry, didn't type correctly. But you tell me, you tell me the index should put what right now? Five. Good, fine. Understand now? All right, understand right now? All right, so now you do me a favor, man. You understand this already. So you do me a favor, everybody replace Xin Liu to your own name. Replace Xin Liu to your own name. All right, 
and make sure it does return your first name initial and your last name initial. So can you do that, please, right now for me, please? All right. Now, let's do number four right now. Number four say this: replace the first name to any other first name. So what happened is the Xin. I'm going to replace replace with professor. Replace with professor. All right. So you already hear the hint. I'm going to replace. It's okay. So I'm coming back right here and ask you to look for. A good method. The method is exists the function. They met those method has action right there, and already predefined by Java uh, document. This is your Java Bible anyway. So I want to see who is the first person. Who is the first person can find out a method, and we did it before. Okay, a method can replace. Anybody? Isn't it just dot replace? That's right. All right, a dot replace. So now you also need to learn this right now. You also need to learn this. When you use dot replace, you're going to put your old character here and new here. Is that right? And return to a string. Return to a string. Is that right? Return to a string. All right. So. I am coming to tell you this, okay? All right. So, uh, oh, sorry. So I can say this, okay? Uh, I can say string new name uh equal name dot replace. All right, right here replace. Then I want to replace a、uh, shin. All right. Then oh sorry, and by professor. All right, I want to replace that. Then I can write down here sys sys out, and I say um the new name is then I'm going to plus. Ah,、uh, name. All right. So I'm going to do like this way. Then, so I replace and run. I'll get Professor Liu. So I'm run this as a Java application right here. So I got. Ah,、uh, hold on. Is a new name is Xin Liu. Just a minute. Let me go back right now. I did. New, new, new name. name. Yeah, new name. Okay. New name. Sorry, new name. All right, so I'm coming back right here. So I'm going to run as uh, uh, Java as Java application right here. So I run there. Then、uh, the name is Professor Liu right now. All right, or or you can do the same way as I say. If you don't need to keep it, then you just copy this, copy this line here. Okay, understand? And Control C. Here, Control V here, and so this way you put a method, and the return value uh will concave into your solution. Your plus the、so、that's a string concave it. So you round it, you got the same result. So it really depend on 
how how you program and uh and in the future do you still need this variable in the future do you still need this variable okay so right now uh i am going to still need this variable do you understand so i am going to do like this i'm going to plot this and put this is a, a new name all right, so I still need this new name. All right, so I still need a name variable, so I'm going to do like this. All right, so now I'm going to display first name. This is a little bit difficulty here. Display first name and display last name. So now uh, you can do this, okay? You can count by numbers, but <clears throat> but I'm going to show you here. I'm going to use my name. I still use my name to do here. Is that right? All right. So I'm coming back here, and I'm going to uh, somewhere to here do something called substring. Substring. Okay. So what happened? The substring will allow you to give uh, a number so right here if i do substring begin end substring i'm going to do substring all right so if i did give my use substring all right so ass assuming i want to use substring so it will return a string that's a part substring means part part of my name you understand so I, the first and part of my name, I want to use substring. You understand? Substring. All right. So can anyone tell me, how do I do this? Part of my name, so my name is Xin Liu. Is that right? So part of my name is only S-H-I-N. S-H-I-N. And if I use S-H-I-N here, and let me uh, coming down here, and to ask you to... To use substring here, uh, substring right here. I want to use subject. So the beginning index s is one number. Can you tell me? Zero. Zero. And uh, return that's a and you want to end up one number. Five. Okay, five. All right. So let's try it right now. Let's try it right now. Okay. And well, so let's try it right now. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to say sys out and uh, right here. And I want to say my first name is, it's okay. Then I'm going to say this, okay. I'm going to say name and da and substring, right. I'm going to do the second one. And I'll put zero and five. All right, so that's what my plan, zero to five. Okay, so I run it right now. May make sure it's okay. So I run it as Java application. And I run it and that's, oh, I need a space. Is that right? So it is okay right now, but I need a space right here. All right, so based on that, and you tell me how do I display my last name? How do I display my last name? So I still do sys out here. And I'm going to do my last name is. And I'm going to have a space here and plus. And can anyone tell me what should I do? Name dot what? Substream. Then what's a the number I should put right here? Seven. Uh, six. Is that right? Six. And I thought it. Uh, look here. Uh, look here. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Five, five. Sorry, five. All right, five. And since that's the rest of them, so I don't need this. Okay? I don't need this. I don't need the rest of this. Okay? I, need, I only need this. All right? So let's continue right now. All right, so you run this, 
as Java application. All right. So you run this uh, Java application new right now. All right. So so now you, you what you learn is you are learning use what use um um uh, um method that existing method carry action. So this class chapter two is class and object. So as soon as you declare a class, you will be allowed to use all the object, all the action of that class. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that wonderful and easy? Number seven, find how many character of the river. How how many character of the river? I am going to ask you use line number eleven. I'm going to use line eleven because there's no space. So what you're going to do is you type sys out then control and you want to say uh um uh, they are and I'm going to put this class. Okay, I'm going to river the length. And I'm going to put plus and space and character. So there will be, um, you know, river the length the character. I don't need to minus one, don't you? Because I don't have space. I don't have space, right? So now continue right now let's see right here so you see the mississippi here is m uppercase i lowercase what happened if you wanted to replace convert river to all uppercase to all uppercase so we coming back here and see who's the first one to find out how do you do this and find out method i can use Anybody find out the method? Which method you should use? To upper. To upper case. To upper case. All right. So you are to going to do this. You say system out, and then you say You want to write down river the to upper to upper case. All right, and you don't need to write anything right there. So let's check do we got do we got Mississippi become turn to convert all upper case right now? So I can uh round it. All right, so now. Is all Mississippi all uppercase now? All right. So let's do the next question right here. Next question. Uh, we did this in the class too, but I just hope you can remember. We wanted to change Mississippi to Missouri. So obviously the M I stay the same, but S S I S S I here, right here. Okay. S S I S S. And IP, is that right? IP need to change to me. Uh, S O U R I, is that right? Need, sorry. S S I S S I P P need to change it to what? S S O U R I. Okay, so we need to change that. So can anyone tell me here? Is there any method allowed you to substitute? Anybody can find out. Um, method here allows you to substitute. Replace. Replace. All right. Very good. So I come into the replace right now. I come into the replace. So I want to replace here my uh, uh, replace. Uh, so replace uh, what the uh, the the old one. In the replacement, is that right? Old one in replacement. You can use this new to replace old. Okay, new to replace old. So 
uh, I am going to write down here right now. Oh, sorry. So, uh, right here, I'm going to uh, sist out uh, control and uh, I'm going to type the uh, river uh, is uh, renamed it to All right, so can anyone tell me what should I change this here right now? I need to say river the replace. Is that right? All right, so all character, what should I put right here? Volunteer to tell me. What should I put? S S I S S I P P. Is that right? Is that right? No. I don't think I have I I think I think I put too many like that right and she replaced by what can any tell one tell me O U R I All right so replace that then let's check do we change Mississippi to Missouri right now okay so you're going to run as Java application, and uh, we did change to Mississippi to Missouri. Okay, so uh, once once more, we are going to using the Java class string class and the method inside the method to help you complete this program. And I I hope you like this uh, uh, exercise. Okay, I'm going. To and I hope you can learn more.